Alright, so today we have a, um, a small little update of some of the things I got for Christmas. I hope everyone had a wonderful uh, holiday uh, for whatever you celebrate. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I got. Um, so without further ado, let's get uh, straight into it. So the first thing I got is one of these um, green light hitching toes. This one is the Krispy Kreme version. Uh, this is the 1968 Chevrolet with the concessions trailer. Um, I'm really happy I actually got this. Um, it's one of the main things I wanted. Um, just the back side of it. Uh, there's been a couple of reviews of the of this done. Um, so if you want to see that, go check it out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to open it or not. Uh, the next one, I got this. Um, it's a Fleetwood RV. Uh, this is one of the first cuts though, so there's n absolutely no paint on it. Uh, if you can hear that, there's just a screw in there that's uh, rolling around. Um, but these are uh, they're really nice. Very happy I own one. I believe these are limited. I'm not 100% sure how many are made, but as you can see right there, it does say a limited edition. Comes in a nice plastic display case, which is nice. Set that off to the back. Uh, the next thing I got was another first cut series set and these were of the Volkswagen um, the Volkswagen bus uh, this set it was nice you could two vans one is the first cut not painted and the next one is painted which is nice um, nice overall model uh, like I said comes in a nice display case I probably won't open these at all probably will keep them in the packaging because they are collectible green lights uh, another one another green light I got was a uh, New York City taxi uh, nothing real special about that, just a taxi cab. Uh, New York. Uh, standard Crown Vic. Um, these are no longer made. Actually, Ford had, has stopped production of the Crown Vic. I believe, uh, uh, last I checked, they had stopped production of it. Um, so, it's kind of cool that uh, I have a Crown Vic uh, taxi cab. Um, there's something on the hood there. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but whatever. Um, set that off to the back. And then a model that wasn't actually on my list, uh, but I got it as a uh, AMC Pacer. This is a 143rd scale model. Uh, it's um, I know back in the when these cars came out, they were not the most popular car um, to own, but I mean now they're collectibles today. Um, this is 143rd scale, still nice model. It's a green light. Um, so here it is. Uh, like I said, probably won't open any of these green lights. I'll probably just display them on my shelf. Uh, another green light um, is a Honda Civic. Um, the, this is the uh, Motor World. This is the American edition, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure. I just kind of like the uh, Honda Civic, so I put it on my Christmas list and hope for the best. But here it is. Uh, as you can see, it's on a cardboard back instead of wrapped in plastic or a blister pack. Um, which is different. Uh, there's the back side of it, and there's all like the cars that are in the U.S. and then Germany. Um, so I'll set that off to the back. And then the last green light I got was a, um, was a Ford Mustang, 67 Mustang. Um, this is from Supernatural. Um, this was another one that wasn't on my list, but I got it anyways, and I'm still happy I got it because I'm just a fan. I'm a real big fan of these. Um, these green lights, they're uh, kind of collectible, so uh, something nice to display behind all my 150th scale models. Um, actually, I lied. This uh, is the last green light set I got. It's a film reel. Um, this is the Gas Monkey film reel. So you have, there's four cars in here. Um, so you have uh, 71 Charger RT, Cobo Camaro, um, Stingray, and then up top is a Mustang. Sorry, I can't get it in the shot. Uh, I can lift the camera up. There's the um, Ford Mustang convertible. Uh, it's a film reel set, so uh, I believe that uh, you can get all these cars separate. Um, and the film reels um, just comes with all the cars, um, and some of them may be different, or maybe the same. I'm not 100% sure. I've never actually owned a film reel. Um, and then on the back, you can just see a bunch of pictures of all the cars and stuff. Um, so setting that off to the back. Uh, um, just set that, set that back there or wherever. 
set it back there, and then starting with the 150th, I only got three um, so, so far. I'm waiting on a few more to come in. Um, but first one is a Komatsu WA500. This is the updated version. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what first gear was uh, kind of thinking. Uh, this model has all plastic handrails. Um, but it's, I mean, it's first gear. It's a relatively okay priced model. Um, the functionality isn't the best. I mean, that's as far as it will go up, which it does not really clear any dump trucks that I have. Uh, dump angle, carry angle's great. Um, but again, lift angle isn't that good. But I mean, I'll probably have a review of this later, going over some of the details. So that's one of the models that I got. Um, the next one is a uh, PC360. Um, I was actually surprised when I got this one. It was on my list, but I was thinking it was going to come with the uh, black bucket. Um, but uh, the one my parents found came with the yellow bucket, which I have no complaints about. Uh, I did have to tighten up the cylinders just a little bit. Uh, that was no problem, just old trick. And another surprise with this yellow one, the yellow bucket version, is the uh, stick function on it. It's great. Um, has doesn't have the uh, problems that I've seen some reviews where it only goes down like that far. Or such, but that's um, good. Uh, I'm not a fan of the plastic cylinders, uh, but I mean, still overall, it's a good Komatsu model. And then the last and final model that I got today on Christmas, which is the time of this video being uploaded, is December 25th, uh, 2015. Um, this is the Komatsu HM400. This is the updated version of it. I really like this model a lot. This probably has to be. Um, it's not my favorite rock truck because I like the um, the DCP version of it, but it's a very nice piece. Um, like I said, with the loader, I wasn't sure what first gear was doing, like, but all these handrails on here are all metal. So I'm not really sure what they were thinking when they put the uh, plastic ones on the loader, but I mean, I'm not going to complain um, considering I didn't buy the models they were given to me as gifts. Um, that's... I mean, the dump angle, I'll, I'll probably do a review of this and a comparison to the DCP one. Um, but this is uh, it's a very nice model. Um, sorry for the camera shaking. Uh, it's got some very stiff cylinders, which I like. And it's also got some simulated springs. Um, but I'll go over that in a review. I actually have to reattach one of the springs. This is just kind of a general overview of everything that I got today. Um, like I said, I'm still waiting on some things to come in. I ordered a bunch of... Well, not a bunch. I ordered like eight warning beacons, a uh, six tooth bucket to go on my 330 with a thumb. I have six Athern UPS trailers coming in. I also have a um, WSI slash TWH. Uh, WSI bought the old TWH mold of the Pete 379 with the uh, Rogers 4 axle low boy in red. Um, that's kind of it for uh, this update. I just kind of want to show you guys what I got so far. Um, I will have a collection update before the end of the year, um, so look forward to that in the next, probably the next time I upload a video will be a collection update. Um, that's it for this video, so thank you for watching, uh, please subscribe, um, go follow us on Facebook and Instagram, both links will be in the description. I highly recommend you follow me on Instagram, um, Facebook I don't really update it as much as Instagram, Instagram I like to update it every day. A couple times a day, Facebook will be like once or twice a week. Um, but that's it for right now. So uh, please subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. And um, if you want to see a review of anything, um, feel free to ask. Um, like I said, green lights probably won't open. But um, if you want to see a review of any of these Kamatsus, um, just tell me if you want to see which one first. Because I'm probably going to end up doing a review of them all. But that's it. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded. It will be up before the uh, end of 2015.